Before you can have the Buckeye Broadband Pro-Am, there's a little pressure there. Everybody's trying to do a little bit better than everybody else. You got to have some fun. So today was time for fun in the putting Pro-Am at the putting practice green. The setup starts hours before the actual event. Every meticulous detail perfectly planned. We just kind of look around the, the maintenance area and the, and the shop, see what we have to use, and uh, we just uh, do it by, uh, by the second, you know? So we're just basically anything we see, we're kind of just throwing it out there at this point. What you're saying is it's not scientific. Definitely not. It's basically just a walk around the grounds here. We were down in the grounds area in Greg's shop just pulling signs and <laughs> trees and baskets and we've got a loop-de-loop, -loop, just all kinds of crazy stuff. The golfers thankful for the pre-tourney quasi-putting practice. This doesn't really prepare you for the tournament though, does it? Not really, no. There's <laughs> quite a few things going on, and um, but you know, it was fun. Not, not unless it's like a squirrel or some sort of deer on the green, is that right? Right, yeah. We don't have too many rocks and loop-de holes and <laughs> things like that out there in the course. The architect's ambition to thwart attempts at success. Most people try to uh, make a putt. Do you get pleasure out of people missing putts? Oh yes. As, as a creator, a designer, I guess, of a mini putt course, you love to see them that grin on their face when they can't get it in there and just keep, you know, two, three shots right back at their feet. So yeah, absolutely. However, nothing is perfect. <laughs> Although you may be inclined to believe otherwise, this course doesn't have everything. And maybe that's a good thing. Were you looking for a clown's mouth at any point? I was looking for more of a windmill, maybe, but not a clown's mouth. Clowns kind of freak me out a little bit, so uh, yeah, but it was fun. <laughs>